Hello there and welcome again to Red Gaming Tech for your daily dose of the latest gaming news as of the 10th of June. I'm here to bring you yet more news from E3 and this time I'm going to focus on Metal Gear Solid 5 The Phantom Pain as it has officially been confirmed for the Xbox One and the creator Hideo Kojima joined Microsoft's Don Matrick on stage during their E3 conference to make their announcement. And he's had this to say, Xbox One will make Metal Gear shine with its graphical power. And their conference actually opened with a gameplay trailer of Metal Gear Solid, confirming that it will feature open world gameplay, real-time weather, various modes of transport, realistic passage of time, deeper stealth action, and dynamic CQC. As well as that, the trailer also showed a number of characters, including Quiet, a female sniper, Skullface, Emmerich, Ocelot, and Code Talker. And I'm going to quote from the official description now. The concept of this title is realistic espionage action in an open world environment. Environmental elements like weather and wildlife and enemies that adapt their strategy to the player's actions. Let players experience a more realistic world. The vast open world environment enhances the thrill and freedom of stealth. Aside from numerous optional missions, there are a variety of gameplay elements that encourage exploration and item collection outside of the main missions. So... There's pretty much a ton of information concerning MGS and Phantom Pain, and it sounds pretty damn good indeed, if I do say so myself. I do wonder, though, how long-standing Metal Gear fans will feel about the open-world nature. That sounds pretty damn cool. I'm definitely a big fan of stealth games where there's more than one option available, especially when the game kind of reacts to what you're doing, say, oh, he's using this strategy. So the AI would naturally react to that, of course, if they're aware of that strategy. If you're being super stealthy, of course, the enemy shouldn't be aware of what you're doing. But it makes sense that if they see you in a certain area or doing a certain thing, then they would react accordingly, which is always, always good. It's just nice to have various options as a player, um, whether or not the run-and-gun approach would be viable, or if you get punished for that, or if it will be doable but not optimal. It remains to be seen of course but I'm actually really liking the sound of this. The real time weather, open world gameplay and all of that is just sounding like it's going to give you a real rich um, and quite real experience which is really cool. I'm really liking the sound of this actually. Um, I'm sure many of you are going to cry going, oh you know why is it out on Xbox One? Well because it makes sense to come out on Xbox One. Uh, no matter how you may feel about Microsoft's next gen console it does make sense for publishers and developers to get their games out on it because, well, not every gamer is going to adopt it at the start, but eventually, of course, everything will shift over to the next generation as becomes the current gen. So, yeah, I'd be curious to hear your guys' thoughts. Um, any long-standing Metal Gear fans that have any thoughts to chime in, please do hit me up in the comments. Always want to hear from you guys as to your thoughts and opinions on these particular pieces of news. Personally, I really want to see some actual gameplay uh, for all of this. From what I'm seeing of the screenshots and so on, it looks pretty good graphically and the ideas that it's touting, well, I'm liking it. I'm pretty terrible at stealth games, but I think I might have to pick this one up because it sounds like it's going to be a blast. Anyway, as I said, that's me done, but do hit me up with any thoughts and feelings below. Um, it'll be always good to hear from you guys. But yeah, I'll see you next time. Bye for now.